Building Confidence and Integrating Cultures, Addressing the Root Causes of Social Unrest in the UK. The recent wave of riots in the UK has once again brought to the forefront the deep-seated issues of social, economic, and cultural tensions that simmer beneath the surface of a multicultural society. These disturbances, often triggered by specific events but fueled by underlying grievances, reflect the challenges that arise when diverse communities feel disconnected from the larger society. To address these issues effectively, confidence-building measures, CBMs, are essential to restore trust, rebuild social cohesion, and foster long-term peace. These measures must also focus on seamlessly integrating different cultures and religions into the fabric of the nation, ensuring that diversity is seen as a source of strength rather than a cause of division. One of the most critical steps in implementing effective CBMs is the recognition of the root causes of unrest. The UK, with its rich tapestry of cultures, religions, and ethnicities, is a microcosm of global diversity. While this diversity enriches the nation, it can also lead to friction, particularly when certain groups feel marginalized or excluded from the socioeconomic mainstream. These feelings of exclusion are often exacerbated by factors such as unemployment, poverty, and discrimination, which disproportionately affect minority communities. Acknowledging these issues is the first step toward addressing them and building a more inclusive society. Education is a cornerstone of any long-term strategy to integrate different cultures and religions. An education system that emphasizes multiculturalism, inclusivity, and respect for diversity from an early age can have a profound impact on shaping the attitudes and values of future generations. Schools should not only teach the history and contributions of various ethnic and religious groups, but also actively engage students in activities that promote cultural exchange and understanding. For example, schools could organize cultural fairs, language exchange programs, and interfaith dialogues that allow students to experience and appreciate the richness of different traditions. By embedding these values into the educational system, the UK can cultivate a generation that is more open-minded, empathetic, and committed to social cohesion. In parallel with educational efforts, creating platforms for dialogue is another crucial CBM. Open and honest communication is essential for resolving misunderstandings and building trust between communities. Local councils, non-governmental organizations, and community leaders can play a pivotal role in facilitating these dialogues. These platforms should be designed to be inclusive, ensuring that voices from all segments of the community are heard, particularly those from marginalized groups. Dialogue sessions could be organized around specific issues, such as housing, employment, or policing, allowing participants to discuss their concerns and propose solutions. These discussions should be guided by trained mediators who can help navigate sensitive topics and ensure that the dialogue remains constructive and focused on finding common ground. Economic empowerment is another critical aspect of confidence building that cannot be overlooked. Many of the recent riots have their roots in economic inequality, with marginalized communities often bearing the brunt of unemployment, low wages, and lack of access to quality education and health care. To address these disparities, the government must implement policies that promote economic inclusion and provide opportunities for all citizens to prosper. This could involve targeted investments in disadvantaged areas, support for entrepreneurship and small businesses, and initiatives to improve access to education and job training programs. By addressing the economic roots of discontent, the government can reduce the sense of hopelessness and frustration that often leads to social unrest. Law enforcement practices also play a significant role in either exacerbating or alleviating tensions between communities. In many cases, a lack of trust between the police and minority communities has contributed to the escalation of conflicts. To rebuild this trust, it is essential to reform policing practices to ensure they are fair, transparent, and community-oriented. This could involve recruiting more officers from diverse backgrounds, providing ongoing cultural sensitivity training, 
and implementing community policing models that emphasize collaboration and problem-solving rather than punitive measures. When communities see the police as partners in maintaining safety and security rather than as an oppressive force, they are more likely to cooperate in efforts to prevent violence and resolve conflicts peacefully. The media also has a crucial role to play in shaping public perceptions and influencing the course of events during periods of unrest. The way in which the media reports on riots and social tensions can either exacerbate divisions or contribute to healing. Media outlets must be mindful of the language they use, avoiding sensationalism and stereotypes that can inflame tensions. Instead, the media should focus on stories that highlight the efforts being made to build bridges between communities, celebrate diversity, and promote understanding. Positive media coverage can inspire other communities to take similar steps, reinforcing the idea that peaceful coexistence is not only possible, but desirable. In addition to these measures, it is essential to establish a robust legal framework that protects the rights of all citizens while promoting social cohesion. Anti-discrimination laws, hate speech regulations, and policies that promote equality are critical components of this framework. However, these laws must be more than just words on paper. They must be enforced consistently and fairly. This includes holding individuals and institutions accountable for discriminatory practices, whether they occur in the workplace, in housing, or in access to public services. By demonstrating a commitment to justice and equality, the government can send a clear message that discrimination and intolerance have no place in society. Cultural exchange programs are another valuable tool for promoting integration and building mutual respect between different cultural and religious groups. These programs can take many forms, from interfaith dialogues and cultural festivals to exchange programs that allow individuals to spend time in different communities. Such initiatives provide opportunities for people to learn about each other's customs, traditions, and beliefs fostering mutual respect and understanding. For example, interfaith dialogues can bring together people from different religious backgrounds to discuss their beliefs, find common values, and work together on community projects. Similarly, cultural festivals can celebrate the diverse traditions of the UK's population, providing a space for people to share their heritage with others and learn about the cultures of their neighbors. Youth engagement is another critical element of any strategy to build confidence and promote integration. Young people are often at the forefront of social change, and their energy, creativity, and passion can be harnessed for positive ends. However, young people are also vulnerable to feelings of alienation and disenfranchisement, particularly if they perceive that they have limited opportunities for the future. To address this, it is important to engage young people in meaningful activities that promote social responsibility and community involvement. This could include mentorship programs, leadership training, and opportunities for youth to participate in decision-making processes at the local and national levels. By giving young people a voice and a stake in their communities, society can empower them to become leaders and advocates for inclusion and peace. Religious leaders also have a vital role to play in promoting integration and harmony. As respected figures in their communities, they can help bridge divides by promoting messages of peace, tolerance, and understanding. Interfaith initiatives, where leaders from different religious backgrounds come together to work on common goals, can be particularly effective in demonstrating that different faiths can coexist and collaborate for the greater good. For example, Religious leaders could come together to organize joint community service projects, such as food drives or environmental cleanup efforts, that benefit all members of the community. These initiatives not only provide tangible benefits to the community, but also send a powerful message that different faiths can work together in harmony. Public spaces and symbols are also important in fostering a sense of belonging and integration. Public spaces, such as parks, Community centers and cultural institutions should reflect the diversity of the community they serve. This could involve incorporating art, architecture, and cultural symbols from various traditions, 
as well as providing spaces for different cultural and religious events. When people see their culture and faith represented in public spaces, it reinforces the message that they are a valued part of the community. For example, a park could feature sculptures or murals that reflect the different cultural traditions of the neighborhood, or a community center could host events celebrating various religious and cultural holidays. These gestures, while seemingly small, can have a profound impact on how people perceive their place in society. Language is another key factor in the integration of different cultures and religions. Language barriers can be a significant obstacle to communication and understanding between different cultural and religious groups. To address this, it is important to provide language learning opportunities for those who are not proficient in English, as well as to encourage the learning of other languages spoken within the community. Multilingualism can be a powerful tool for integration, as it allows people to communicate more effectively and fosters a deeper understanding of different cultures. For example, community centers could offer language classes that not only teach English, but also other languages spoken in the community, such as Urdu, Polish, or Somali. This not only helps individuals to communicate more effectively, but also shows respect for the linguistic diversity of the community. Finally, Promoting a narrative of unity and shared identity is essential for building a cohesive society. While it is important to celebrate diversity, it is equally important to emphasize the common values and goals that unite all citizens. This could involve promoting a sense of national pride that is inclusive of all cultures and religions, as well as highlighting the contributions that different communities have made to the country's success. For example, Public campaigns could celebrate the achievements of individuals from diverse backgrounds in areas such as sports, arts, science, and business. By focusing on what unites rather than what divides, society can build a stronger, more cohesive community where everyone feels they have a stake in the future. In conclusion, the recent wave of riots in the UK has underscored the urgent need for confidence-building measures that address the root causes of unrest and promote the seamless integration of different cultures and religions. These measures must be multifaceted, encompassing education, dialogue, economic empowerment, fair policing, responsible media, legal protections, cultural exchange, youth engagement, religious leadership, inclusive public spaces, language learning, and a narrative of unity. By taking these steps, the UK can create a more inclusive and harmonious society where all citizens feel valued, respected, and empowered to contribute to the common good. The success of these efforts will depend on the commitment and collaboration of all stakeholders, from government and community leaders to ordinary citizens, in building a future where diversity is celebrated and conflict is resolved through understanding and cooperation. Only through such comprehensive and sustained efforts can the UK hope to build a society where peace and social cohesion are the norm, rather than the exception.